Comments that we just heard from the president came moments ago at the Salt Lake VA there on the first anniversary of that law expanding veterans benefits. Yes, so we do have ABC4's Cade Gardner. He was there. He joins us live from the Salt Lake VA. And Cade, I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can, I think the big pressing question we all have is, did you get a selfie with the president? I can hear you just a little bit. No, sadly, I didn't get a selfie with the president, but I did get a few pictures. Now, he stopped talking, I want to say about 10 minutes ago, but is still here shaking hands with people in the crowd. These are veterans. These are state representatives, state senators. The governor is here. We heard from the governor today. We heard from the Salt Lake City mayor, and then we heard from a veteran who got cancer at 23 years old as a result of her service overseas after 9-11. The president talking about the PACT Act today and the importance of it for our veterans who get sick because they are exposed to those toxic chemicals. He's saying that it's more than just an economic obligation, it's a moral obligation that we help those veterans. Now I just want to highlight a few of the things he said throughout his, his speech today. He first wanted to thank Spencer Cox, our governor, for supporting our veterans here in Utah, saying the PACT Act has brought in more than $12 million to the state of Utah in health care finances and help for our veterans. More than 3,000 Utah veterans have applied for those PACT Act benefits, and almost almost all of them have received those benefits, about 2,800 of them. The president saying that it is our obligation as Americans to work together to make sure that all our veterans are taken care of after they come home. And he said it's not just our veterans we need to look out for, but it's their families as well. Take a listen. So we have many obligations as a nation, but we only have one truly sacred obligation. And that's to equip those we send into harm's way and care for them and their families when they come home and when they don't. Again, President Biden had a son who died after serving in the military. He believes that it may be you know, linked to him serving near a burn pit himself for over a year with him and his buddies in the military. Now, the president will be here just for a few more hours. He's still shaking hands. Right after this, he's going to head out to Park City for a campaign fundraiser. Sadly, we will not be able to attend that, um, after which he will head back to Washington, D.C., back to the White House. We will continue to cover his visit here in Utah, what he had to say today. I will also have sound from the governor, the mayor of Salt Lake City, and that veteran who got cancer herself and was able to fight it, overcome it, and become a survivor thanks to the funds that she got through the PACT Act. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Kate Garner, back to you.